Hey everybody, welcome back to A Better Computer. My name is Matt, and I am in the process of moving into a new house. I'm in it right now, and we're still figuring things out, but a lot of things had to be purchased and ordered to fill up the house with the things that we need, right? Um, and so I have a lot of packages delivering right now, and it made me realize I've never talked about delivery apps on this channel. I don't think I need to get into the weeds on exactly how these apps work. You kind of get it, right? Uh, but I do want to say that if you're using the UPS app or the FedEx app or something, you can do better. There are options out there that lets you just put everything into one app and not have to use these separate apps and like use their interfaces that aren't that great. On this channel, I talk about apps that are really well made, that have really great interfaces that go beyond just the bare minimum. And so I've been using an app for the last 10 years called Deliveries. It's fantastic, but in the past week has had a real wrench thrown into the mix that makes it not an app I find it easy to recommend anymore, which is unfortunate because I think that it's really fantastic other than this Killy Seal. We'll get into that. Uh, but I want to show you the other app that I'm using now that I just, I have to switch, I have to go to something else, and that's an app called Parcel. So we're gonna go over both of them really quickly. I'll show you deliveries, I'll show you parcel, I'll show you what I like about each one, um, but ultimately I think I recommend parcel right now because it's just fully functional in a way that delivery, sadly, right now is not. Okay, so this part of the video I'm gonna shoot on the Opal C1 webcam. I literally just got this webcam today, but I'm gonna do a review on it in the near future when I just kind of get a little bit more use with it and see how it performs in different situations. But if you wanna see that, make sure you're subscribed for next time. But let's jump into the apps. And basically I just wanna show you deliveries first because it's hard for me to recommend, but yeah, you'll see why. Um, so in deliveries, what I love, love, love about this app is that right away on app launch, I can see who's going to be delivering. I see UPS and FedEx just based on the color of the items here. I can see who's delivering. I can see what they are and I can see uh, kind of how long until they arrive. So I know exactly what's going on. I love this. If I wanna add a delivery, I can just go ahead and paste it in here. Uh, this is actually one that I've already tracked before. Um, so we'll call this a widget and save it, and it got thrown to the bottom of the list. You you can already see what the Achilles heel is here. Um, but if this was working, these would all be sorted really nicely and everything. Uh, other services work here. Basically, anything that's national in the US is gonna be here. International, I'm not quite as sure, but like I get DHL things here. Uh, US Postal Service stuff as well works. It's all great. And then if you go into the settings, there's some other stuff where you can sync um, between your devices. You can sync to a June Cloud account or iCloud or both. Um, you can add them to your calendar. So I actually have these syncs to my calendar. So in Fantastica, while I'm just working and looking at my calendar, I can also see what packages are delivering that day, which I like. Um, and then there's some custom app icons. You can just customize these, there's widgets. Um, it's all just really, really nice. And for me is just a great app, right? It just is really, really fantastic. Um, and you can even search. So if I search for like uh, coffee, you can see all the coffee orders that I've done in the past. Um, so it's really nice you have kind of an archive there. I've used this to find when did that thing show up and I can use this, which is easier and quicker sometimes than finding the receipt for the thing, which is kind of cool. But as you can see from these FedEx orders, there's an Achilles heel and that FedEx just straight up doesn't work with deliveries anymore. Uh, some other people are having issues with Amazon tracking and uh, DHL tracking, I think. Um, FedEx just absolutely does not work for anyone though. And so if I like go into this, I have to actually view it online and then it just opens FedEx.com with the tracking, which is not ideal. So what I'm using instead now is an app called Parcel and that's right over here. And it's very similar, same concept, everything. So I'm not gonna go into that, but these are kind of the same things. You can see I've got five things delivering tomorrow. Um, I've got some rugs that this just means uh, labels been created, but it hasn't shipped. And I have one that, is, that was actually already delivered. If I want to add one to the tracking, I can just hit the plus. It adds what was on my clipboard. It detects it as FedEx, and we'll call this a widget as well. There we go. Widget, and you can see it's already been delivered, but that's because it was already delivered. Um, but at least I see that. It's not like click here to go to the web. Um, again, not delivery's fault, but kind of the situation that they're in right now. So I don't personally like this interface as much. Um, there's also no way to archive things. So if I wanna save this for later and like find it in the future, I can't, I just have to delete it. And now it's just gone. Delete, gone, there's no way to get these back, which is annoying. Um, also, there's no calendar sync, um, but what, what it does do better is it has a really nice Amazon integration. So if I go in and I'm not gonna go into it, um, but if I go into Amazon integration, yeah, I guess it doesn't show anything here. Um, basically, I can add my Amazon account. I just log in, it does OAuth to basically just see what orders are here. And if I order something from Amazon, it automatically adds it to parcel. Sometimes you have to re-up your kind of login, but it's pretty great. Um, also, switch to next carrier is a really great feature. So if Amazon ever 
ships your order and then they actually have UPS deliver it, you'll actually get a notification in parcel that will say, hey, do you want to switch to the UPS tracking? Because that might be more accurate and quicker to update and everything. Um, so that's really, really cool. I had that happen. I didn't record the screen though when it was happening, so I can't show that. But trust me, it's really, really nice. Um, also, there are like push notifications. There's a website you can go to to access it. So if you're on another computer, on your work computer, for example, where you can't download the app or sign in or whatever, you can do it from the web, which is awesome. They also have app icons. They have 10 and they are really, really slick. I actually really like these. Um, so you can take your pick which one works for you. And again, kind of the most important thing is FedEx works. Uh, and so DHL works, the Amazon integration, like I said, not only works, but is really, really um, clever and works really nicely. It's all just fantastic. So outside of the UI, which I do prefer deliveries, I'd really like if they would just color this table so I could tell at a glance which ones are FedEx, which ones are UPS, which ones are Postal Service. Like, I'd love to see that. Um, but yeah, it's it's nice to have all of the stuff in one place. And these are the sorts of apps that can do it. There are other apps that do it, but it seems to be most companies, most shipping companies want you to use their app, or if they're a Shopify store, they want you to use the shop app. But it's really nice, I think, to have a third party app like this. You can just put everything in regardless where you bought it. If it's shipping with a, a popular shipping company, it most likely works. So again, Parcel is the app that I recommend right now. If deliveries resolved its issues, I would immediately say switch back to deliveries. But those are the two apps that I think have been kind of the big players in the third party space for a long time. So hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, drop a like down below and I'll see you here next time. Bye-bye.